Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Richard today, and today we're going to be unboxing this compact laser printer with Mika, the fluffy pooch. She's running back upstairs right now. Or is she? I'm trying to hold this on an angle so I don't do anything crazy with a big knife. Oh. Wah. And wah. Like that. Gotta sharpen that thing. Oh, look it. We have items. We have a manual. This right here. And this is our toner cartridge. That is only half full, I believe, because that's what they do for a test cartridge. Give you only half of a cartridge. And there is our printer. Let's go ahead and pull this out and plug it into the wall. Now you get the fun thing of going and removing every single piece of blue tape. I would suggest removing every single piece of blue tape now. Just makes it easier in the long run, even though there's so many of them. All right, flip it up, take that off, take the one off of here. Put it down right here, right here. So many of them. All right, I don't see any around the back. I don't see any around there. Feeling? Nope, nothing. All right, next thing, flip this forward. Let's slide our toner cartridge in. When you open it, you'll see these little orange things right here. Might be green, might be some other color. This is technically a cleaner. You can tell you, it tells you right there to take this, slide it all the way across and all the way back. Gives you a nice clean surface. The next thing you're gonna need to do is slide it in. Let's see if this one slides in like so. Just like that. Perfect. Next thing to do, power it up. All right, so you're gonna see this right here where it says copies, whatnot. You're gonna hit the menu button. When you do, and that'll pop up, and you'll see the plus and minus. Well, we're gonna press until it says network. Press OK. We're gonna go down to wireless LAN. Go down to setup wizard. Just come up with a whole bunch of SSIDs. Select yours. For mine, mine will be Nomad. Put in your password by pressing up and down to each letter. After I put in my key, I pressed OK. It found it, pressed OK. And now we're set up. You can see your Wi-Fi is now steady green. We are now on the internet. So, now that I know this is on the internet, I'm gonna leave this the way it is. And let's brighten this back up. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do, distinguish your paper size. So open up your pack of paper, put it in here, and move these. How you move them, compress this, move it. Remember to compress this, don't break this the first time, and then like I said, you just press on the green and it'll move. You also notice it has like divots where it'll lock into on the lines. For each size, you'll see there's a line for each kind of paper. So go ahead and throw some paper in here. We'll close it up and then we will go on our computer and add it. And I'll show you how to do that. Cell phones are a little bit different. Um, you would It's more or less the same when you would go to press print on your cell phone it would pop up and you could do it that way or you could add the, I'm sure there's a, probably a brother's app, but 
I'm guessing most people are trying to do this for their laptops and computers. Uh, if you want to though, you can still print from your cell phone. I'll try and do that from mine and I'll tell you how it goes. I'm just doing this so I can get this out of here because there's one more right here. And by the way, this pops up just in case there's a paper jam. So this piece of tape goes all the way in here. How fun. Does this one fall forward? Probably not. Oh, no, it does. That's right. That's how we got the toner cartridge in. Ta-da. Richard is so awesome. So that popped in there. This can come down here again. Oh, apparently I just pressed something. But either way, let's see. How does this one come down now? Richard. Oh, Richard, what have you done? There we go. It's just a sticky hinge. You just have to give it enough pressure and it slides down. Okay, now that I know that this is now ready to go, let's jump on the computer. All right, so if you open up your computer, you'll have a search right here. Just click here and type in printer. You're gonna see it pops up with system setting, printer and scanner. Go ahead and click on this. Oh, look at that. Look what it found right there. This is our printer. Let's say add printer or scanner, but I don't think we'll need to because it already sees the brother because it's on our network. Perfect. So since I see it here and I just pressed search just in case yours doesn't pop up for some reason, mine did. So let's go ahead and just leave this the way it is. And I'm going to quickly open up a uh, document or something we can print. So from this point, if you take a look, we're gonna have a test sheet I quickly made on Microsoft Word. We're gonna hit Control P, pops up here. You'll see that I've already selected this. If you haven't, go into your printer list and click on Brother. Once you click on it, hit the print button here. Also, if you wanna play with some stuff, you can do double-sided, how it says print one-sided, you can try double-sided, whatever you wanna do. Anyways, let's press print. All right, it should now be shooting over to our printer. We hear it fire up. Sounds like it's warming everything up. Guess who didn't put paper in the tray? After, of course, putting paper in it, it instantly printed it out with test sheet. Look at that. Nice, bold, perfect print. Just so you can see actually how quick this thing is. And I also want to try the double sided feature. Let's go down to a second page. We'll press enter and put back. Perfect. And we'll hit control P once again. And on here, we're going to do print on both sides. Print. Let's take a look. Receiving data. And you can hear it, and it just flipped it. Back, front. Sweet, there is your double sided, and that was actually really quick, so. Now that I've wasted two pieces of paper, we know it works. I'll let you know how it works on my phone. Give me one second. So if we went to a note of sorts, let's go here, notepad, and we'll give it a second. We'll go back. Look at that. It might take a moment. Let it do its thing. We'll click here. Oh, look, it found it. 
letter size, and we'll hit print. It just fired up. And that's how easy it is. Takes a couple seconds, but once you add that printer, it'll be fine. Anyways, I hope this helped you out. Of course, add this on your tablets, whatever else, your laptops. And again, you don't need to direct connect it with a printer cable. Once you have it on Wi-Fi, you're good to go. If you don't want to do Wi-Fi, you can plug it right into your internet router. I chose not to because my Wi-Fi is really, really good here. Either way, hope this helped you out. Thanks again for watching. Press like if it did and subscribe for more.